Okay, um, this is castle number one. I don't know basically anything about the histories of these castles, but it's really fun and pretty and yellow. Um, yeah, so this big park was owned by a bunch of different, I think my understanding of it is, was a bunch of different royal families. And they just kept like inheriting it from each other when Germany kept getting taken over or something. I think the big one was like Frederick II um, had built a lot of these. Um, and it was like everybody just had their own little like castle thing. Um, this is a lot prettier now than the last time I came because it was like early spring so nothing had grown in yet. But yeah, this is castle number one. There's like three or four more just kind of down the path this way. Um, See the windmill? But yeah, with the statue garden and the windmill. Um, very, okay, wait. Uh, a senior couple told me this once that you can tell the difference between like, um, as far as gardens, you can tell the difference between like romantic garden style versus, um, what's the other one? I don't remember the other one. Like a, there's like two different garden styles and one's romantic and the other one is like a, and romantic, it's like everything is really like grown up and it's just like everything, they just let it grow, they let nature grow and stuff. And then the other one, everything's very like symmetrical and planned out. So. This is the other one. Yeah, I don't remember what kind of, what it's called though. It's uh, very Grecian. Yeah. Yep. And I mean, that's all I got, but. 